welcome to my channel my name's louise my son corey lives with me he's 21 my two dogs chip and dale we are going to do a haul today if you enjoy hauls if you enjoy this haul when you watch it or even during <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe i think it's down there i've done this before and i got the wrong side i think that you know, the little red button down there you know just click on that uh, <laughs> So, yeah, we've done a three shop haul, we've done Asda, Iceland, Tesco's, went pretty good. Corey come with me this time, he's not been with me for a while, he doesn't really enjoy going into town, so there's no point if I can do the shop. There's not much to report, there's no point, I always do a little report on how the shop went, but that was more when we was in lockdown. The, the rules in the UK at the moment are so up and down, I couldn't even tell you what they are anymore. Um, I just go to work do my shop and I come home we don't go out we don't do anything we don't uh, we've not been to a restaurant or a a pub a cinema theatre we've not shopped in any other shop except food shops or shops that you can get food in with you know no clothes shopping nothing like that um but we're okay with that it wasn't really something we've tended to do before and it's not much fun anymore like right? everybody's so stressed it's just not fun anymore so we'll stick to our food shopping we'll enjoy that and yeah that's it so we'll get on with it this we're going to start off with the asda well i always tend to start with the fresh stuff i've got some mushrooms this week gonna do a breakfast probably not sure what exactly i've been fancying salad i've got a couple of dish ideas but i've actually got this for a change i never normally buy packet salad just because the other ones last long you know if you get ahead of a, a lettuce it lasts a lot longer uh, this was 60p and it'll probably only be like two meals if that but i fancy something different it's, it's got quite a few nice bits in it i mean it's got like it's not gonna focus it's got spinach and shard rocket so yeah nice little change got some spring onions to go with the salad some cucumber i've got tomatoes and i've got some other uh, salad leaves still left anyway new potatoes i don't get them that often i'm usually the only one that'll eat them but i'm going to try cooking them a bit different i'm not just going to boil them this time i'm going to put them in the active fry as well and then see if corey will try them maybe he'll enjoy them that way they were 90p for that packet got another orange juice i enjoy having an orange juice so why not i've eaten a lot of baked beans and sausages this week well two tins so i'll just replace them and a lemon and lime drink just fancy something different um 50p for that one now i've got these chicken now i don't know if this is a good deal or not i mean it says it's rolled back from five pound 39 to eight pound uh, eight pound four pound 89 don't know if that's a good deal or not i don't tend to buy chicken fillets that often if i do it will probably be from the reduced section I've got two ideas though. I'm going to do a hunter's chicken, which actually Corey came up with that. He said he fancied that. And I'm going to do a like a chicken breast with a Philly cheese centre and the Parma hand thing. Never had it before, but I've seen a lot of them on Instagram recently. So I'm going to give that one a go. Maybe I'll film it. I'm not sure yet. My absolute favourite sausages. If you've been here before, you know I love these ones. Got both the same flavours this week because... The Welsh cheddar and smoked bacon is my favourite out of all the different flavours that you can get and there are a lot of flavours and there's actually some extra ones this week. I think there was a spring onion one as well which I've never seen before so I think they might have more added more to the range which is really good. Corey picked up the smoked bacon to go with the hunter's chicken and got him a butter. Now I've got some hummus because I'm going to do... I wanted to do like a Greek thing. I've got some things in, in my other shop, you'll see. Um, couldn't get falafels anywhere, so I'm going to have to pick some of them up. But um, we're going to do like uh, pita breads, and Corey's going to have kebab meat or whatever. Olives to go with the Greek, and I've run out. Or should I say, I should have put them in the fridge, and I didn't, so I had to bin the rest. My coffee, always get this one, 70p. Cheap, cheerful, does me. I enjoy that one had tuna this week i had a tin of tuna i haven't had tuna got to be well over a year and i remember the last time i tried it i didn't enjoy it but i had a fancy for it so yeah we got some extra ones because i've clearly now got a taste for it and some sweet corn to go with it with a bit of salad cream i n now know salad cream is the way to go not mayonnaise for me run out of brown sauce 
eggs for a breakfast again. This is a Corey thing. This is a Corey come shopping, so we had to spend extra. He said he fancied ribs, four pounds. We actually opened, did open the packet when we was in the store. I know I shouldn't do it, but we did. And it is actually the good rack of meat in there, so I didn't mind spending the money for that. Chicken burgers. Corey said he fancied chicken. Uh, he said he fancied burgers the other day, and then I said to him when we went shopping, "Do you want to get some burgers?" And he said, "No, oh, I don't fancy them now." So chicken it is again. And this will be for the breakfast because it was in the reduce section. Why not? Fancy cabbage last week. No point in buying um, a fresh one because. I'll end up being in here, I'll, I probably won't end up freezing the rest even though I try to do that now. But that was only a pound for a big bag and I haven't got to cut, cut it up or anything. Yes, lazy, but onion rings, just cause. 77p cheeseburgers, I tried the Rustler's hot dog the other week, quite enjoyed that. For 77p, got one for me and Corey. Now I saw this, I was literally just walking past the shelf and I said to Corey, oh, look at that. That looks nice. And he knows I like chocolate orange. And he went to put it in the basket. He said, oh, no, 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 I'm not I'm not buying it. It's £1.50 and I'm too stingy for that. Uh, <laughs> so he gave me the money. So that's a treat from Corey, which was really nice. And these. So they've got three packets of these. Can't remember the other two flavours. The new. Now, the reason I've got this one, this is the Caramel Bliss, is because I've been putting a lot of apps on my phone recently. And this, um, like the sort of apps where you have to scan your receipts and you can get points and you can get Amazon vouchers or something. And this is on the app. Now I wanted to try these anyway. If I scan my receipt, technically I should get my money back for the full price. So technically if it works, this is a freebie, which we like a freebie. And it's chocolate as well, so even better. Corey fancied these, they're 39p and it's a long packet and they, they taste pretty decent. These are a pound at the moment, that's what I'm into. This was new, I like to try new things when I see them and that was a pound as well. Jammy Dodgers, do like a jammy Dodger, who doesn't? And I've wanted, the, <laughs> wanted these for a while, uh, just the, the small pots of custard. Um, I find if I open a tin, we end up being in a lot of the tins, so I didn't want to keep doing that. And again, because I am very price conscious or stingy or whatever word you want to use, I don't even know what word to use. Um, I haven't been buying them because I didn't want to pay the price. But as I walk past looking for something else in the store, these are one pound fifty at the moment, which I thought was pretty decent. You get four pots, and that's just to sit in the cupboard for when we do have a, a dessert and a fancy custard. It will be there. This lasts until. May next year. That'll be a good thing just to sit in the cupboard for when ever. Pit us to go with the the Greek. We always get these for Corey. But I've been eating a lot of these. They are actually 80 oh, drop that 80p for 12 packets of their cheap crisps. But they're really nice crisps. It's not just because we do get them because they're cheap, but they are actually really nice and salty. And I've been helping Corey eat these recently. I got some Pringles, shouldn't do it, salt and vinegar, oh, love them so much. But I don't know if I'm the only one who does this, but I can't eat Pringles just like you see people on TV in it, where they just crunch the thing. I have to lick the flavour off. So my mouth is going to be sore and swollen, but they're so worth it. And they're half price at the moment, one twenty-five. And I bought myself a fresh loaf that's fallen over. I actually had to ask for this one because they were cutting them, all of them. You know like when you go to the fresh bit, you usually have some uncut and then you go and ask for one to be cut. They were cutting all of them, which was weird. Don't know why they did that. That lot was my Asda and that was £44, I believe. Not bad. Technically, I should get my pound back on the biscuits. I'll let you know how that goes. I don't, I've got a finish setting it up properly and I'm assuming it's going to take a little bit of time to go back in the, in the, on the card or where, however it's going to happen. And yeah, so that's Asda. We will do, we'll do Iceland next because the stuff's defrosting as we speak. Bear with me. <laughs> I'm back. I've set up the Iceland and I've set up the Tesco's because I didn't realise I didn't get that much in Iceland. It feels like it was, uh, it probably was hours ago now. 
you've been here before you know always get Koya Dr Pepper I got that in Iceland just because we went there first and I didn't know whether the price was going to be more in Asda we got this for dinner tonight I'd actually forgotten we're having pizza tonight <laughs> just as a treat me and Koya are going to share a pizza not tried this one before two pounds it's a good size one and it's stuffed crust we've got the top donna meat for Corey for the uh for the greek that's two pounds for this and this actually lasts him for ages he's 600 gram packet so he really enjoys it and it is exactly like it looks like on, on the picture i don't eat this type of meat no particular reason just don't and then we always get Corey's chickeny bits. We didn't actually need too much. He's just been eating a bit differently this week. And that, I believe, is three pounds for 600 grams as well. And that's it for the Iceland. Told you I didn't get much. Didn't remember that. So this is Tesco's. Now, Tesco's was a very interesting shop. Really enjoyed it, which is weird. Okay, so basically, I bought these. We're not on my list. These normally are one pound... 50 I think you can a lot of the time you can get them for like on a deal where you buy two of them and it works out at 125 each but these were actually 88p literally the only reason I picked that up is because it was 88p now I've told you before a while ago um, I bought some potatoes from Tesco's and they're doing this thing where if you've got a club card you get a different price to the standard price when you scan it it comes off at the till so this one was, and I've never bought the Parma ham before, I've never tried it, like I said I was going to try the, the chicken with the cheese and put the Parma ham around it. Um, yeah, so this is, let me, oh, bear with me, let me get me prices, £2.65 if you don't have a club card, but with a club card it's £2. This one I always get cheese, I usually just get... I always buy cheese, but I usually get the Asda's own brand. But I actually fancy some cheese this week. Most of the time, Corey will eat most of it. I'll have a little bit, but not a lot. And I like a really strong one. I'm more particular than Corey. This one would have been... This one was £4. And I paid £3.40 for that. You know, it's more expensive than I would normally buy, even at £3.40. But it's a treat. I got a lot of treats this week. It was pay week, so I wasn't bothered about going over budget, and we actually didn't go over budget by much, so that wasn't bad. I like a quiche. I haven't I don't get it that often because I just don't think about it. But the reason I got this one is finest. It should be a better quality. Vintage cheddar and caramelised onion tart. Now, if that doesn't make your mouth water, hmm. But what really tipped the scales <laughs> is. <laughs> It was £3.10 before and I got it for £1.77 and I will not be sharing it because luckily for me nobody likes quiche. I'll have that one all to myself. Got some more super noodles. Purely price again. It's nice to have this sort of thing set in, in the um, cupboard. I bought the beef ones last week from Asda for 50p. These were... The, oh, my camera went. Okay, so I bought them in Asda last week for 50p. These are 60p in Tesco's, but when you scan with your club card, I paid 40p for those. So, saving of 10p each. Great. I always buy a butter, but I usually buy the Asda's own make. This was on a deal. Again, it was £1.70 normally. I paid £1.50 with the deal. And I'll pay £1.50 for the Asda's own, so I just thought I'd try it. I don't know if it's going to be any better. It's a make. Worth a try. £3 for this. This is the big tub. Usually I would only buy the small tub like on a pound deal or something, but this one was three pound at uh, 340 grams, so it is the big one. I've never actually I don't ever don't know why I don't tend to go for the flavoured ones of these, I only ever get the plain filly. We've got the garlic and herb, three pounds, but with the deal, one pound fifty. I would normally pay a pound just for the small anyway, and I've got the flavour, and that's gonna go for the chicken meal that I'm gonna try. Another one, this is four pounds in there. This is Corey. Corey loves anything cookie dough, but this, this is like the ultimate. Having a Ben and Jerry's cookie dough is the ultimate. Four pounds normally, that was 2.50. Got a toilet roll, roll while I was in there, and no, the, the was not stripped bare at all. One pound 90 for that, it's my favorite one. 
and I've got a couple of pizzas to go in the freezer. For Corey, these are 67p. They're the cheapest ones you can get anywhere and they taste like a pizza. <laughs> so you can't go wrong. Okay, so that's it for the Iceland and Tesco. Now the Tesco, this, see this is, I never shopped that much in Tesco. I know it doesn't seem much to you, but when you're so budget conscious, yeah. Tesco's is more expensive than Asda. But it would have come to 24.27 normally, but with all my discounts, I paid 18.92. It's still quite a lot, but like, I, it's not quite a lot for what he got. It's quite a lot that I wouldn't normally spend that much in, in there. Or a couple of quid normally on a couple of small bargains. But the savings I made on that, Tesco is doing so good with this whole club card thing. It doesn't cost anything to have a club card. And the more points you get on it, you can get vouchers off of things. So we're getting double whammy bargains. It's really good. And like I said, a few of these things that they're more luxury things I wouldn't necessarily get on an everyday basis. Um, so yeah, that was 18.92. And then my Iceland was £8.50 altogether. So we paid 50. So we paid 70, about 71, 72 pounds, something like that. So it was about 11, 12 pounds over budget, but it was pay week. I was, I had a little bit extra. I don't normally have a little bit extra. And I mean, realistically, <laughs> Most people on pay week will go out and buy takeaways and clothes or whatever. That was it. That was our cheat. It is what it is. It'll keep us happy anyway, just to have something a little bit more luxury. Gonna share a nice meal with Corey later. Homemade pizza, like you saw. Yeah, so all in all, pretty good day. Pretty good bargains. I was, I was uh, quite impressed with them. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, love it when I can save some money and I like sharing them with you because you may like if you're in the UK you can pop in the shop and you know there might be something you see if you're not I'm sorry <laughs> um, but I enjoy watching American hauls and Canadian hauls as well just get a little bit jealous you, you'd have way better range of foods over there than we have here is what it is that's it that's this one done and I will See you in the next one. Bye.